Yo, welcome everyone. Today we have an absolutely sick interview and sick story to share. We have Noah here. Noah has been working with us inside Engine Velocity for the past eight months and he has had a super cool journey. A bunch of great stuff has happened. He has learned a lot and he has also built a really sick agency. So he's today here to share a little bit about that. Noah, thank you for being here. How are you doing, man? Doing fantastic. Monday after work, soon going to the gym, feeling amazing. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Where are you based in? I'm based in Sweden, uh, Gothenburg. So like second biggest city in Sweden. Super nice. Amazing. So to get everything kicked off, to get everything started, uh, do you just mind quickly going over a little bit like uh, who you are, what kind of agency you run, how has your journey been? Uh, just like a, the base, base fundamentals, you know? Of course. Yeah. So my name's Noah. I... Uh, I started my own Legion agency quite before, like uh, two months before joining AV. And I joined AV back in September. Um, back then, I had like two clients. Uh, one was on a paper call basis, and I couldn't really deliver any results. And back then, like now, I've been charging like 350 a call and stuff like that. But this one client was at like 75 bucks a call to just give you like some more information on how like cheap these clients were. And then I also had another client on a super tiny retainer, but I can't really deliver any results. So I ended up just churning him after a few months. Mm -hmm. um, joined AV, uh, got my first client, got a case study. And from there, we're just scaled, basically. That's killer. So, that is that is super sick. How did you end up getting into like starting your own agency? Like before you started working with us, like how did you go about building it? Like what did you do to build it out? And how, what did the timelines look like for you to sign your first few, first few small clients? Yeah, so it all started back in like high school. I've always been interested in like copywriting and stuff like that. And so it all started when I was I was mostly doing like freelancing, writing like product descriptions and stuff like that. And then I got clients through Fiverr, which is, yeah, it's horrible, right? Yeah. So I got this like poor clients, didn't get paid enough, um, could barely survive, was super poor because <laughs> I basically had no income at all. Um. So then I just realized that I needed to have these like high quality meetings um, with people who were looking to grow with my services, basically. And that's kind of when I, when I discovered like the cold emailing space and all that. Um, got more into like copywriting, uh, AI, just like play, you know, stuff like that. And then I all started like posting in like, I remember instantly this Facebook group and people were like, damn, those are some crazy results. And I was like, really? And then <laughs> I kind of like realized that that people actually thought that this was good. And I realized that also this might be the service that I could actually start selling to people. So I then started offering cold email lead generation to other agencies. Um, and yeah, then I basically just got my first client um, or well, my first client since running AV. Um, got him great results. I was really focused on that one specific client. Um, and then I just collected a case study, the case, a, like an interview. And from there on, just everywhere, everything just went on, basically. That's super sick. And like back then, before you joined and before, when you were working with this, with these two, two clients that you mentioned, how was the revenue looking like for the agency? What's the revenue? <laughs> Not at all, I'd say. Like for, it was super random because like since joining AV, I've been like super dialed into like one specific niche to just start off with. But back then, I didn't really know that this was something I was supposed to do. So I was working with somebody like in the US who was doing like a SaaS for real estate uh, companies. And I didn't know anything about that. So I can't really deliver any results. I mean, I booked some calls, but since it only was like 75 bucks a call, I didn't get anything at all. And then I had this other client for like a thousand bucks a month on a retainer, but hard offer i'd say but i so i didn't really crack it and then i ended up just churning in like after two months or so so yeah i was just a sinking ship sort of <laughs> the the usual the classic classic um, yeah so then you join av you join join the community join the mastermind what was really like what was the reason for you joining why did you think that this is this is like a good idea that, like was there like a problem you were trying to solve or what were you looking to get out of it I was looking to get more clients um, 
just more in details on like how like because back then i don't even know if i was doing the right thing yeah. so just being able to know that you know you are on the right path but you just need to fix this like these small things i just needed something like that to just tell me that i am doing the right thing because i was so close to applying to a bunch of different nine to five jobs like i was talking with my dad and he he's always been like very supportive with my business and stuff like that and he asked me like how long are you going to give this a go before you're like seeing any income basically because you need money right and so i remember i was fixing like my um like i have a document with all my experience stuff like that um just preparing it for when i was applying to a bunch of different jobs so i was super close to applying to a bunch bunch of different nine to five jobs but um yeah then i just joined av instead <laughs> and from there on i just like yeah i just started to know what i had to do um what's the right way and then it just took off basically that's sick that's sick and now fast forwarding eight months into the future from from last september what kind of things have happened what what is the agency revenue looking like what is everything looking like uh how is life life is amazing like eight months back i wasn't doing like any money at all basically um it was so random because i was i, I had like just small money into stocks and i was actually talking about this with my friends yesterday i had to sell these stocks uh just to survive like it was that bad so yeah but fast forward eight months to today i'm up at like 10 11k dollars a month right now and i think it's also correlated to like how much or how many clients we're working with for example, like this is kind of the crazy part in my ass. Like I'm only working with like three clients right now, Damn, nice. which is crazy because like, yeah, as mentioned before, I was like a sinking ship with two clients, but now just one more basically, but it's still a huge difference. So yeah, I just got more money, um, more confidence, I'd say. And I just feel better. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, how does your like uh, agency day to day look like? Obviously, you don't have like a ma- like a massive operational run. You have three clients, so so mm-hmm. how much how much time is this taking you? And and what kind of how do you do? You have a big team. How does it run? Yeah, I don't have a big team. Um, my days are looking very differently because some days I maybe need to personalize some emails, import a new lead list, um, and some other days I just have to come up with some new angles. Um, so it really depends on how like the client work and their campaigns are going basically, but I'm also just like monitoring the campaigns, uh, taking care of the inbox. Um, yeah, overall just working a few hours a day and yeah, it's kind of crazy when you compare it to like my old nine to five job when I was spending like nine hours a day, but was making just way less money, which is kind of crazy. So Yeah. That's super sick. What kind of goals do you have now? Are you looking to just maintain the agency there or are you looking to scale or or, or what's the plan there? Uh, scale probably. Um, I think my goal right now is to go to like 20k a month because I've realized now that like first the goal was to reach 10k a month and but now it's kind of like more my goal more is to just like maintain it sort of to just make sure that I don't go down again. Yeah. So, and I think my plan to do that is just to go up, basically. Yeah, that is a that is a really good plan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead of going down, just go up, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is really really sick. So, one thing that I'm always interested in hearing because a lot of the people who get these great results, and a lot of the people who we work with, are always like smart, hardworking guys. So, inevitably, at some point in their life, they would have made it anyways. Even if they didn't work with us, and they would have made it. And I think the same same also goes for you. So, like, what do you think has been the impact of working with us? Like, if you just, if you never joined, and if you never uh, joined the community, like, uh, what do you think would have happened uh, instead? Like, for example, for the last eight months, where would do you think would you, you would be here now? Um, maybe still figuring it out, sort of. <laughs> Like, as mentioned, when I joined AVI, I just started to know what I was supposed to do. And I think it would have just taken me much more longer time to reach 10k a month uh, if I wouldn't have joined AV. Um, so, yeah, I, th- I think it was just like a fast path or whatever. It was kind of like a fast, uh, um, just a fast path to 10k a month, I'd say. Yeah. In, 
simple terms. <laughs> yeah, hundred uh, percent. You can save like a crazy amount of time on it. Again, instead of you having to spend three uh, three years to figure it out, you can figure it out in three months and then spend the rest of the time on actually like doing yeah, exactly, and getting and, the plans and all that stuff. Yeah, and also the community is a big part of it. Like you keep each other like accountable and stuff like that. Like before, I wasn't as disciplined, maybe. Like my my days would be super like inconsistent because I didn't really know what I was supposed to do. But then you have like these accountability huddles in inside the group where you just work with other people basically, uh, which also which is also a great way to just make sure that you're working and you're also working with others and you're not alone uh, while working, which also is a big impact uh, on your business. I'd say. Yeah, hundred percent. It's like. Uh... That kind of really puddles are funny. It's like you're almost in a co-working space or a cafe, yeah. but you're just alone uh, yeah. like at home. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. That's sick. Uh, do, you, do you remember where you first heard about us and, and what like got your interest? Why did, why did it catch your interest? Because there's a crazy amount of stuff online. Like, why did, where did you find us? Yeah. What was it? It was so weird. I somehow ended up on Twitter and I somehow ended up on your profile. And I think that was when it started. Um, I think I saw somehow ended up on your like newsletters. Um, fuck, I, I I barely know how I actually ended up. <laughs> it it just happened. <laughs> yeah, but I think it that's just written in the stars. Yeah, that's kind of where it all started like happening. I think uh, just on Twitter, and then I just started like looking up you on YouTube, stuff like that. You nurtured me very good, I'd say. Um, right. But. Yeah, I'm glad I joined. So yeah, that's perfect. And do you happen to remember why you decided to like join? Like, what was the thing? Uh, back then, we were probably like doing doing calls. Yeah, we hundred percent were. So you probably hopped on with one of our one of our team members. Uh, what what was the thing? That, okay, I think this is the right move. I think I'm gonna hundred percent do this. Good question. I mean, I've always thought that I like. I don't like. I have full respect to like nine to five jobs and stuff like that, but I don't think that that is something for me. So even though I was a shinking ship, I still knew that I there there has to be a way to just kind of like make it. And I've been seeing all other people make it uh, in, a, in a way. And then I thought like, what's the difference between him and I basically? So that's kind of where I, I wanted to explore something. And uh, so I hopped on a call with a guy on your team and then we just took it from there basically. So yeah, that's sick. That's sick. Also, that's really interesting because a lot of people they they have the same exact idea. They always compare themselves to others who are making it work. But instead of them thinking like, "Hey, if he can do it, I can do it," but usually, like the natural reaction for people is just thinking, "Ah, oh, he can do it because X, Y, and Z. He has this. He has that. He's mm. from here. He's from there. He has this experience." I most in most cases people come up with excuses when comparing themselves but for you it sounded like different it was like it was not an excuse it was something to motivate you why do you think that is because i think that's like super important and a lot of people like are just not doing that yeah i think i kind of get motivated by seeing other people make it and also i just had this question in my head during like the whole time like why can he do it and why can't i do it but i also think that i have like something um like i'm not saying i'm different in any way to others but I've just had this need of money, sort of. Like, I put myself in a bad uh, situation, sort of, where I was a sinking ship, uh, where I didn't have any money. I kind of made myself poor. I stopped working at my nine to five. Um, and I just had, like, some money to live off on for a few months. But then I didn't have any money, eventually. So I kind of got desperate, I'd say, which is a good thing, because then you force yourself to, to make it, sort of. Yeah, 100% when you're back is against the wall you suddenly like find this second gear uh like uh you just have yeah. to make it work so it just work better it's actually really really crazy exactly yeah that is super fire but yeah so one question that i also have the last question that i have is uh if there's someone listening to this or watching this and they are thinking hmm, maybe i should join maybe i shouldn't join why should someone pull the trigger right now? Like, why do you recommend working with us? Or if you do recommend working with us, of course, I don't know. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Um, if they know that, like, if you know if you're that you're capable of something more uh, of where you are now and where you want to be, then, of course, I'd recommend to join. Um, why? Because it's a great community and you actually get great uh, weekly group calls 
um, that in the community and also the like valuable resources, the docs and the notion and stuff like that. Um, so if you if you know where you want to be, but you're not there right now, then I would 100% recommend to join. And you also make yourself like more accountable by working uh, just more, basically. That is super sick. Amazing. Thank you for those kind words. But yeah, Thanks. thank you, Noah, for being here with us. Uh, thank, thank you, you for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.